styles and objects. Microsoft Word gives you many different options to make any sort of document. You could be writing a letter, an application, a story or even your personal diary. There are different style options available for all purposes. A style is a set of formats. By applying styles, you can easily format your document and make it more attractive. To save your time, MS Word experts have created some built-in styles. You can choose your own style and format or you can select from 16 different built-in heading styles such as no spacing, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, title, subtitle, etc. Follow these steps to apply built-in styles. Select text and click on home tab. Click on down arrow next to the styles. Select any style for your text from the list of styles. Your text will be changed to selected style. Even though you have chosen a built-in style, MS Word allows you to modify the formatting according to your preference, like font size, font color, line spacing, etc. Here are the steps to modify a built-in style. Click the Home tab. Right-click on the heading style that you want to modify. Select Modify option from the pop-up menu to open the Modify Style dialog box. You can also change the name of your modified style. Change the name of your modified heading style in the Name section. Make changes to the font size, font style, font color of the heading in the formatting section if you want. You can also apply bold, italics and underline. You can also change the alignment by clicking left, center, right or justify option in the formatting section. If needed, make some changes in line spacing by clicking on single space, one and a half space, double space option. Click on increase paragraph spacing or decrease paragraph spacing for changing the paragraph spacing. You can also change indent of the style by clicking increase indent or decrease indent. Click OK button to save the modified style. We can add interesting shapes, graphics and text boxes in a Word document by using Word Art, Text Box and Shapes. All these features have certain common properties. After adding Word Art, Text Box, Shapes and Drawing Tools in Document, a Format tab will appear in which you can format your objects using Shape Fill, Shape Outline, Align, Rotate or Text Wrapping etc. Some of the common properties of Format tab are Fill Fill option is used to fill the selected object with solid color, picture, gradient or texture. To do this, follow these steps. Select Format tab and click on Fill option. Drop down menu will appear. Select any desired color to fill the object. Click on No Fill option to choose no color. To choose more standard and custom colors, click on More Fill Colors option. To add picture inside the shape, click on Picture option. Insert Picture dialog box will appear. Select Picture and click on Insert option to insert the picture. Click on Gradient option to add gradient to your object. Select any variation from the gradient menu. To add texture, click on Texture option from the drop-down menu. Select any texture from Texture menu to add texture to your object. Click on Pattern option from the menu to add pattern to your object. Outline 
outline option is used to specify the color, width and line style for the outline of the selected shape. To change outline of object, follow the steps. Select the Format tab and click on the Outline option. In Shape Outline, you can see Theme Colors, Standard Colors and more options. Select any color you want to apply. To choose No Color, click on No Outline option. To choose More Standard or Custom Colors, click on More Outline Colors option. To select Weight of the Outline, Click on Weight option. Move cursor over the menu to display live preview of the weight menu. Select any weight option. To select dashes of the outline, click on Dashes option. Move cursor over the menu to display live preview of the dashes menu. Select any dash option. The next common property from the Format tab is Bring Forward. You can bring the selected object in front of all other objects so that no part of it is hidden behind another object. To do this, follow these steps. Select the object. From the Format tab, find the Bring Forward option and click on Down Arrow next to it. Three options are available. Bring to front, bring forward and bring in front of text. Select any option from the drop-down menu. You can also send the selected object behind all other objects. This is called send backward. Follow the steps to do this. Select the object. Click on down arrow next to the Send Backward option from Format tab. Three options are available. Send to Back, Send Backward and Send Behind Text. Select any option from the drop-down menu. There are certain options in the Format tab for text too. One of these is Text Wrapping. It is used to change the way text wraps around the selected object. To do this, follow these steps. Select the object. In the Format tab, find the text wrapping options and click on down arrow next to it. Drop down menu will appear. Click on any option from the menu. Align this option is used to align the edges of multiple selected objects. Follow the steps to use this option. Select Object. Click on Align option from the Format tab. Select any Align option from the drop-down menu. Rotate. This option is used to flip or rotate the selected object. To do this, Follow the given steps. Select Object. Click on Rotate option from the Format tab. Select any rotation option from the drop-down menu. Inserting Word Art. Word Art is used to add an artistic flair to your Word document by using a Word Art text box. Follow the steps to insert Word Art in your document. Go to Insert tab. Select the text group. Find and click on Word Art button. Word Art Gallery will appear. Select a design from the list that appears. Write the text in the text box and format it using font style, font size, bold or italic. Word Art will be added to your document. Inserting text box. A text box is used to bring focus to the content and is useful for showcasing important text such as headings or quotes. Follow the steps to insert text box in your document. From the Insert tab, go to the text group and select Text Box option. Click on Down arrow next to the text box. Built-in text boxes will appear. 
select any one text box from the built-in text boxes that you want to add in your document. You can also draw your own text box by clicking on draw text box command. Click and drag the left mouse button to draw the text box. After adding a text box, a format tab appears in which you can format your text box using text box styles, shape fill, shape outline and change shape options. Inserting shapes We can insert ready-made shapes such as circles, squares and arrows in a document. Follow these steps to add shapes to a document. Go to the Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, find and click on the Shapes icon. This will open a list of available shapes. Select a shape like a regular pentagon to draw. The mouse pointer changes into a cross shape. Drag the left mouse button to draw the regular pentagon. Observe the Format tab that appears under Drawing Tools. You can change the color, weight, dashes and arrows for the outline of the shape as explained. Once the shape is inserted, MS Word gives you the option of placing text inside the shape. Follow the given steps to add text in already drawn object. Right click on the shape and select Add Text option from the menu that appears. Now you can type text in your shape. You can also format this inserted text by selecting font size, font color, bold, italic on underline from home tab. Inserting clip art. It is a collection of images available to users of MS Office for inserting into documents, spreadsheets, presentations, etc. Follow the given steps to insert clip art to your document. In the Insert tab, go to Illustrations and then click on Clip Art option. Clip Art Task Pane will appear in right side of the window. Enter keywords in the search field that are related to the image you want to insert. For text box, click on Go button. A list of clip art images will appear. Now you can either click a clip art image to insert it or click the drop down arrow next to the clip art image and select insert from the options that appear. Your selected clip art will appear in the document. You can also resize or move it anywhere in the document. Inserting symbols and special characters. To write the temperature, we use the degree symbol. But do you see the symbol on the keyboard? How can we write the degree symbol in our document? Such special symbols, which are not available on the keyboard, can be added to a Word document with the help of Symbols option. Follow the given steps to add symbols in your document. Place the cursor on the position of the document where the symbol has to be inserted. In the Insert tab, you will see a Symbols group. Click on the Symbol option that appears. Choose a symbol of your choice from the drop-down menu. More Symbols option. Additional symbols are under More Symbols option of Symbols group. Click on More Symbols option from the drop-down menu. A dialog box appears. Choose the required font by clicking on drop-down arrow next to the font. Select the desired symbol in your document. Click on Insert button to insert a symbol. You can also insert special characters to your document. Click on Special Characters tab in the Symbol dialog box. Special characters and their shortcut keys are given here. Select any character and click on Insert button. You can also add them using shortcut keys. 
Applying Shadow Effects The shapes inserted in a document can be further enhanced and made more attractive by adding a shadow effect to them. This can be done through the following steps. Insert any shape in your document or select any previously drawn shape. Go to the Format tab. From the Shadow Effects group, click on the Shadow Effects option. A shadow gallery will appear. This opens the shadow submenu that provides the following options. No shadow, drop shadow, perspective shadow and additional shadow styles. Click on a style for desired option. The shadow effect is created.